Hello everybody and welcome to the video. In this one, I'm going to be showing you how to allocate loan repayments to a fixed asset that you have taken out a loan for. So previously in another video, and I'll put a card up above if you want to have a look at this, we showed you how to allocate the purchase of a fixed asset like a motor vehicle or a piece of equipment to add it onto the fixed asset register and to add the loan that you may have taken out against this vehicle. So in this video, I'm going to show you what happens next. So when you make a repayment, it would typically be a monthly repayment against the loan that you took out against the motor vehicle or whatever piece of equipment it may have been. There will generally be two components, sometimes three components. There will always be a principal component, the pay down on the loan. There'll be an interest component, exactly the same as a house mortgage. There is the principal and there is the interest. And sometimes there will also be an admin fee attached to that. So I'm going to show you how to account for this. The first thing you're going to have to do is contact your a loan provider and to get a document from them. They may have already provided this to you. It's called an amortization schedule. Let's have a look at it here. And what we're doing here is the first line where I've highlighted it in green. And you can see it's got all of the repayments down here for paying back the loan on this particular fixed asset. So the repayment amount is 1381.72. And then making up that 1381.72 is the principal, the pay down on the actual loan, the interest, and admin fees. The contract balance is the closing amount after the repayment. So that will be the initial loan amount minus all of the principal pay downs. So I'm going to show you how to account for this. If we go over to zero, we're in the demo file here, we'll go into the reconciliation. And you can see here on the 5th of March 2021, vehicle finance 1381.72. That is this first repayment here. Sometimes what people will do if they're not sure, if they just want to get it off their books, and have their accountant take care of it at the end of the year. You will just put it all to the loan account that you set up when you took out the loan for the vehicle and leave it at that. Of course, you'll put in your card here, the WHO, that will generally be the uh, finance provider for the vehicle, and you might put in a description and it will be BAS excluded. But if you want to do it properly, or if you want to track your interest and loan liability amounts in real time in zero, or even just make your accountant's job a bit easier at the end of the year, and this is how you do it. So we're gonna to have to put in three line items in this case. So we'll have to go add details. The two will be the finance company, whatever their name is. And in the first line, we're going to put the principal pay down. And we can see from the amortization schedule that on this particular month, the principal amount is 1143.17. So we input that and that goes to the loan account. That's all good. The next is the interest portion. If we go back to the schedule, we'll see that the interest is $230.55. And this goes to the interest expense account. So this is a tax deduction where the loan pay down, the principal pay down is not a tax deduction, even though you would have claimed the cost of the asset, potentially if you had the instant asset write-off or temporary full expensing, or if not, you'll claim it back on depreciation. But as far as these monthly repayments go, the only item here showing up on the P&L will be the interest expense, but also the admin fee, which we'll add in a second. So $230.55 for interest, and the last one was the admin fee. And we can see here, that's $8. $8, I'll put that to bank fees. GST free, and we can see it all adds up to $1381.72. We can go back here and we can see it matches $1381.72. So we're going to go OK. Reconcile that. So now if we run a profit and loss, I'll have to run it for that particular month, which was 
March 2021. We're going back a few years here. And we can see there's our admin fee, $8, and there's our interest, two thirty fifty five. And then if you run a balance sheet, this will look a bit funny because we haven't loaded in the fixed asset purchase, but I'll show you it anyway. We can see here, there's the 1143.17 from the loan. So if I go back to the schedule, I can see that 1143.17 paid off the principal. But what it would normally look like if you had loaded everything in as far as the purchase and the loan goes, you'd have a fixed asset motor vehicle account, which we can see here the loan, the original contract's about 74000 So it might have been an $80,000 asset. So then you'd have an $80,000 fixed asset in your asset section here at the top. You'd have any depreciation underneath that. And then you would have loaded in your original loan amount, which would have been around 75000 when you add in the first repayment and the contract balance after the first repayment. And then you'd have this coming off as a negative. So when you loaded in the initial loan amount for 75000 approximately, when we posted this spend money here for the 1143.17, the loan pay down, that will come off the loan balance that you had already loaded in. So every time you do a spend money, and you allocate your principal amounts here, this loan amount will go down, 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 showing you what you actually owe on the vehicle until you end up paying it off. So when we come along to do the next month, this line here, it'll be pretty much the same process. The principal amount will be 1146.68. The interest will be 227.04. The admin fee will be unchanged. The admin fee is always $8. But the principal amount and the interest amount will change every month as you pay it off your interest is going to go down because your loan balance is going down and because your loan balance is going down with the principal repayments this line here is going to get lower we go from seventy five thousand down to zero once you eventually pay it off so this bit here is a little bit confusing if you watch the other video that i put a card up to at the beginning it will make more sense but the main point of this video is to show you how to allocate repayments on a loan for a fixed asset. So that's how you do it, guys. Now, if you want to book in a training session, head over to our website, qtraining.net.au. You can book in an online training session there where we'll do a Zoom session. You'll share your screen with me and I'll show you what you need to do for whatever your problem is. Anyway, thanks a lot for watching, guys. I hope you learned something here. We'll see you in the next one.